This video is going to be video number two, showing you how to calculate the work done by a constant force. This time, um, the object uh, is going to be moving along a rough inclined plane. The object will move from the top of the ramp to the bottom of the ramp. This inclined plane is of inclination theta. And the displacement is going to be from the top to the bottom of the ramp. And that's going to be over here in blue, B. The force is acting upon the object as it moves down the ramp will be the force of gravity, mg, which resolved gives us mg sine theta and mg cosine theta, will be the normal force uh, in, in blue up there, and, and the force of friction, kinetic friction, in the opposite direction of motion. Now, the two forces along the y-axis, they must balance. So let us very fast check if they have the same magnitudes here. mg cosine theta is 3 centimeters, and n is also 3, so they are balanced. So let's go ahead and calculate the, for the work done by the two constant forces uh, that are parallel to the plane, first by mg sine theta and then by fk. So first, we are going to calculate the work done by mg sine theta. So, according to the definition, let's call this work one, according to the definition of the work done by a constant force, that's going to be the force that uh, we have mg sine theta dot producted with the displacement vector. So the, the dot product between mg sine theta and the displacement. Continuing with this, remember the dot product of two vectors results in the magnitude of the one vector multiplied by the magnitude of the other one multiplied by the cosine of the angle between those two vectors. So mg sine theta is the magnitude of mg sine theta, d is the magnitude of the displacement, and the angle between mg sine theta in green and d in blue is obviously zero degrees. They both go down the ramp, parallel to the ramp, so that's going to be cosine of zero degrees. So when we simplify this, we have mg sine theta times d times one. Cosine zero degrees is one, so that gives us mg sine theta times d, which you can rewrite as uh, mgd sine theta. Now, the work done by the force of friction in, in purple over here, so work done by fk, let's call that w2, is going to be the force of friction dot product with the same displacement d. Well, continuing with this, we're going to end up with the magnitude of the force of friction times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of the angle between them. Displacement is down the ramp, force of friction is up the ramp, so it's obvious that the angle between <coughs> them is 180 degrees. We also know that the magnitude of the force of friction is mu k times n, so we are going to have to first determine the normal force, and that's going to be determined from the balance of forces along the y-axis. We chose positive to be in that direction, so therefore when we write the balance of forces for the y-axis, we are going to have one force going upwards, another one going downwards. So our vector sum equals zero, so that's f net y equals zero. The one that's positive is positive n. The one that's negative is mg cosine theta. When we simplify this, we are going to have n minus mg cosine theta equals zero, and solving for n, equals mg cosine theta. Now we are going to take this expression from here and plug it in here to get the magnitude of the force of friction. And that's going to be now mu k stays and the normal force is mg cosine theta. We plug that in here to get the work. So the magnitude of fk is mu k mg 
cosine theta. We still have the magnitude of displacement, D, and cosine of 180 is negative 1. So this becomes equal to negative mu k m g cosine theta times D. Let's put this here. So let's rewrite this as negative mu k m g d cosine theta. And now we have the two expressions, one for the work done by mg sine theta, which is constant, parallel to the plane, in the same direction as the displacement. So therefore, the cosine of the angle between them was cosine 0 equals 1. And then we have the other work over here, work done by the force of friction, Force of friction and displacement are opposite in direction, parallel to the plane, but they make an angle of 180 degrees. There we go, cosine of 180 is negative 1, and we got the force of friction, we know it's mu k times n. We got the normal force from the balance of the forces along the y-axis, considering positive to be upward, so n was mg cosine theta. We brought it back down here, and we got this expression for the work done by the force of friction. If we want to calculate the net work, we are just going to add up the 2, and that's going to be w1 plus w2. Obviously, you can plug in for w1 mgd sine theta, and for w2, negative mu k mgd cosine theta. And that's going to be the work net in this problem. Thank you.